Hi guys. So it's actually Monday night and I am packaging orders. I've just been working all day. I did get the other embroidery machine going. I actually stitched out an apron for Journey. Oh, just like a little painting apron. And then I did um, stitch out two other um, designs and I honestly think it's sewing better than it ever has. And it's just crazy, but it does stop every once in a while with no thread break. So I do know that is like a um, active feed kind of thing that's going on. And it also could be something to do with the bobbin. So I'm just playing around, but overall the stitching looks really good on it. So I'm really excited. And it's crazy that three machines are working and I'm like running back and forth. It's crazy, okay, let me just say. Because it's like, it's kind of like, I guess if you had triplets, you know what I mean? Like. You might have a thread break on one and then one might run out of bobbin so you're like trying to fix this one but that one's going off and then the other one's going off and then you're just like but it's all good it's all good it's all good it's great actually i'm so excited so um i did go ahead and order um I will, as i talk to you i will package these orders um i did order another mighty hoop today um, because I will need a mighty hoop for that machine. The only, I have a ton of five by five and I have like, I might have two seven by seven twenty fives. Is that a thing? I'm trying to find my highlighter. And my pen's out here. Hold on. Old time, old time. So if you don't know packaging, usually takes forever. It's like, <sighs> okay. Anyway, um, so these are all out of order too. So I gotta go back here. Okay. Um, maybe not. I'm losing my mind. I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> um, so I ordered the 9 by or 8 by 9, 9 by 8, whatever it is. The one I um, use already. I kind of wanted one anyway for um, the machines because I do um, use that one a lot for you know shirts and stuff and I do like the 10 by 10 but I think I'd get more use out of the 9 by 8 so that's what I went with I bought it off from the um, I'm trying to think of the website the United Thread and so my order was over $200 because I ordered thread as well um, for that machine. Because I kind of set my machine, my, you know, with the same colors. So um, I just have certain colors that I just switch out a lot. So anyway, I'm just gathering all of my invoices here out of my stack. And then I will put them off. You okay? Usually she'll yell, I'm okay. Okay. I'm just trying to find. I have one with the name XY, capital XY, capital LA. I don't know how you say that name. I get a lot of names. I'm like, what? I had one that was like. A N A L something something and I was like what of course like the first look you know Anna Ain was it Anal it wasn't Annalise or anything like that it was like anal <laughs> anal <laughs> I don't remember now <laughs> oh bless it 
but I'm like, why do I suck so bad at names? Why do I not know what this name is? <laughs> what do they call her for short? Um, anyway. I thought I did some. These are printed off in order, but unfortunately, it's printed off like the, um, Okay, I'm getting to, because I've made, there I guess. I was going to say, I know I have some orders that are on my list, but they were like in the middle, because I had everything set up to make that design, so I made it. Um, anyway, I ordered the thread in that and got that all going and I was just getting on here I wanted to share something because I love to share stuff on vlogs and then when I go back and look I'm like oh I remember that so Journey has this right here she's crazy about these little um testament this is the new testament dedicated to Sterling Reini and she wrote her name backwards anyway um but Journey had one that she got when she got dedicated. Uh, but um, she's like, she brings this and she has it. She opens it up and she was like, Mom, can we do this and make a basket um, for Moses? Like, what? And she's like, Moses, the baby, put him in a basket. And I was like, um, yeah, but I am packaging orders right now, so it'll have to wait. And it just, it blows my mind on how much she actually, like, sinks in, you know what I mean? Because this was, you know, way back when, at a children's church, they made little baskets. Julie told a story out of the Bible about Moses, and... They made little baskets with paper, you know, and they um, made a baby, drew a baby, and put the baby in the basket. And that was like something they did while she was reading the story. And I just think it's amazing how she, like, just out of the blue remembered that. All. And it's just like, it took me back. I was like, what? Why are you even talking? <laughs> so, yeah, it's cute. So she wants to read about Moses. But I have some package of orders. So I am using, I have been using these that I got at Dream Deals. Whenever. So, um, it was like a few weeks ago. I ran out of my other ones that I was using. So, I like, might as well get some use. I always check my names. Check my make sure the names are right check the size double check the order and then put this on I don't know if I put a sticker on there I don't think I did well, it'll be stickerless I've been using the gold stickers too I have a basket down here I put them in and then I put that out for my mailman to pick up Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this and I will continue tomorrow. Bye, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. It's Tuesday, grocery shopping day. I did have to go by Hobby Lobby. Um, I had to pick up a shirt for an order, which I'm going to work on here because I want to make sure I get it out. They didn't specifically tell me when they needed it by, but um, if put my bag there, if they start school, it's a back to school shirt. So if they start like after Labor Day, Starly is starting 
the day after Labor Day, so she'll start that Tuesday. So around here, school started last week, so they already had their first full week of school. I'm still getting Sterling's books in. I'll show you guys when they come in. I'm hoping they shipped out. She already, okay, so I found her literature book and her history, it's not history, geography, on eBay and her geography was brand new. It came with some handouts and it also came with the video guide, which it didn't include the video. You have to, it's like an online thing you have to pay for, which I'm actually considering because I think it will help her a lot with her assignments. So for those two subjects, subjects, I bought both of those on eBay. One was like 50 and one was like 40 something. So it was a good deal on her geography because it came with the handouts in the video guide. And that was 50 and then um, everything else was like 200 and something, 70, 80, 280 maybe, I don't remember. Uh, I bought off from the Christian bookstore, is that what it's called? Christian supply, it wasn't Christian, I don't know. I don't remember Christian something and that's where I normally order her books from especially when they have the back-to-school sales so I just did that my battery's flashing let me change it okay I changed my battery anyway it's grocery shopping day I had to go by Hobby Lobby though because I needed a shirt they needed an extra large youth for their order so they actually they ordered a size 14 16 and you guys know I've been using the 14 size 14s from Angela so I asked them if that was okay and they said they actually needed more like a 16 an extra large or a 16 so I gave them choices and this is what they picked so I got that and then yesterday I had to make a Jojo shirt and a size small um, so I usually keep one size small because you would be amazed with the amount of shirts I get ordered because I do offer size small adults on most of my number shirts because there's some big kids out there there's some small kids out there you know they come in all shapes and sizes so so I just offer this size and probably I say if not every week every other week I get an order and so I actually probably should have got more but I, missed. I wasn't thinking at the time I keep them in the cubby with my 14s and 16s anyway so I also picked up more of this at Hobby Lobby and then I saw this one and I've never seen orange there before so I thought it'd make a good nice pumpkin so I actually had this idea in my head. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, and then they had just put this fabric out, which looks like little paint brush strokes. So you got all different colors in there. I thought it was really cute. And I was like, ooh, because I do the little paint palette one. And I thought that would look cute for the number. But, you know, who knows? I'm sure everyone else is probably thinking the same exact thing. The thing I do like to do, though, is like... If you hold on to fabric long enough where it's like out of print, you know what I mean, and no one else can find it, and they're like, where did you find that fabric? Mom's the word. Anyway. Oh, and then I picked up this. So these are the, um, like the stiff felt pieces. I think I bought eight. I'm not really sure. I thought there was eight. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight. Which I wanted to check my receipt, but anyway, um, this does shed a little bit of glitter. But I make a headband out of these. I um, do the embroidery and then put it on a headband. Oh, they were half price, which I don't know how much felt pieces are there. I didn't look like actual like felt felt pieces because sometimes they're quite pricey but at Walmart they're 28 cents a piece so I bought eight of them as well which I thought I had just recently bought a big stack but I might be wrong 
So I got eight of each. And like I said, that was I used two embroider out headbands, which I think I might actually do a bunch of those. We'll skip to the fabric. Because I love that. Me and my fabric uh, it seem like every day I'm like, oh, I got a new fabric. Um, I saw this at Walmart. This is like new, one of their newer ones that they had just put out. But at first I saw it in the fat quarter and I was going to buy a couple of those. And then I saw they had a yard of it. And I'm like, I just get the yard. So this is it. And do you guys know like on a truck, like the metal, the chrome, like the step, you know, or even they have like the toolboxes in the back or whatever. And they have that look to them. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Do you know what I'm talking about? So that's what I thought of when I saw this. And I was like, you know, that would look cute on those truck. Like you have like the truck with the pumpkin and the truck. Um, there's a little area on the front. I mean, it, it's not an area of the truck that normally would have this on it. But, you know, I thought it might give it a little. Because like I have some that I do and it's I do it in the, um, the glitter vinyl. So I'm running out of room. Hold on. Anyway. So I just thought that would be good instead of like the glitter and so I bought that. Then I had saw these um, over the weekend and these are like what I was going to buy but there was no one there to cut my fabric over the weekend so I went back today there was a lady working and she was really nice and her name was Mammy M-A-M-I-E which I thought was of like an, a real like I don't know like a I won't say original but you know what I mean you don't hear anybody named Mammy but I just thought it was really I just liked it I just I just I thought it was a cute name um, there you was a woman that used to work there that was named Fanny and I like that name too because I thought you know you just don't hear people named Mammy or Fanny um, so anyway I did get this and it's the medallion print but it's like blue on blue and I think if this was orange it would look spectacular on a pumpkin so my idea I have this and there is a fabric I bought recently from there that should be up here I have a stack of fabric right here from my purchases within the past week <laughs> right here on top oh the colors aren't that good but I think it might actually I don't know so if you had I don't know a pumpkin I'm thinking a pumpkin and a pumpkin and like a pumpkin trio right, right. Are you feel me do you feel me I don't think this one would go I don't know Unless it was in the middle. I don't know. But I do like these two together. Who said pumpkins have to be uh, orange? If you ever go to Hobby Lobby and you see all those pumpkins and they have like different colors and stuff. It's, it's cute. So anyway, I picked up that at Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And then I saw this one. My thing is getting glittery. This was the only one I saw. Otherwise, I would have bought more. And I love it. I debated on buying it because if I buy anything I now days, it's like I need to buy at least. I'll buy a half yard if I'm not sure if I'll use it for anything. But maybe. And then if I know I'm going to use it for something or have an idea, I might buy a yard. Um, and then if I do use it all the time, I buy more than a yard. So this is just a cute... I just love it. I just think it's... I just, I don't know, I just love it. So it is this kind of a mix of print, but it's pastels. And so I just love it. The next time I go to any other Walmart, I'm going to see if they have any more. I have ideas. I have ideas for it. And I think I need more. And now that I got the other embroidery machine working, I'm like, I was like, and once I get caught up on all my orders, um, probably won't be this week. What do you see? Cat is like trying to sneak up like she sees a 
spider, a bug, I don't know. She's pointing. Or maybe she's wishful thinking she sees something because she went up to the door, the closet door, and she's like, anyway, and then I bought this at Walmart. I bought all of it. Um, so I already used this fabric a lot, and the last bit of fabric is um, pretty much the same. It's a little bit different. I'm trying to see if I have some over here that I can show you. Yeah, here it is. So it is, yeah, the green is a bit wider. I mean, it's the same, almost the same, but not the same. So this is the stuff that I currently use. And this is, I bought this off Etsy because the first bit I had bought at Walmart. So, um, and the first bit I bought at Walmart probably four, five, six years ago. It's been a long, long time and I had bought it to do Easter designs with. And so it was pretty old. I've had it for, it was in a bin, you know, I had maybe a yard, yard and a half of it. And so I used it and so I sell a lot of it of this design. So I'm like, I need more. So I had to look on Etsy and I bought a quarter of a yard for, it was like $7 and that was with shipping. So it was like $4 for a quarter of a yard and then shipping was like three something. So yeah. So when I found this at Walmart, and this is from 2006, this print. So I don't know, and I've never saw it at any other Walmart. So I don't know if it's like they're going to be putting it out or if, you know, if it was just something they had. So it's from 2006. And so... I'm like, um, yes. So when I found it, I was really, really excited knowing how much I spent on just a quarter of a yard. So it is glittery. And so now, so here is the one I did have. And here is, so the green is thicker. I mean, but pretty much, you know, nobody would know. Who's going to know? Nobody's going to know. <laughs> like that's the top. Anyway, it was $19.81. There was three and a half yards. So that's all of my purchases. And then when I ran upstairs to switch my battery out, FedEx pulled up and I got some glitter vinyl. These are, um, these are my favorite ones. My favorite white ones. You all know I have favorite vinyl people for different things like, um, there's one I love, ones I love from Angela. There's ones I love from Microworld. Um, there's ones I love from Glitterbug Fairy. So this one is for Glitterbug Fairy and it's their white. And the reason that I love their white is because I do a lot of unicorns with it. And so this white is a really sparkly and it's almost like a pearlescent kind of, you know what I mean? Can you see? See, it gives this like, yeah, you, know, you can kind of make this blue, pearly tint. Like, I just like it. Now, I have other, um, you know, the ones from Microworld, I do like their white as well, but um, not for, like, I mean, it's fine for unicorns, but I think I prefer the unicorns with this look to them. And then also, um, from Glitter Bug Fairy, I like their lavender because it's that real shimmery, shiny lavender that I like. So, yes, I just thought I'd share with you. But I bought three because I'm sick of running out. And I also use this for ghosts. So, yeah, it's that time of year. Anyway, I'm going to get some work done. Uh, we're going to have hamburgers for dinner. This week, I went very classic, old school. No new recipes because we are going to the beach on Friday. I'm so excited. So, 
Tonight is hamburgers, which is Tuesday. Tomorrow we're either gonna have pork chops or we're going to have chicken strips. So I pulled chicken and pork chops out of the freezer so I didn't have to buy any meat other than hamburger for tonight. And um, the pork chops I'm gonna do in the bag because Shirley loves it in the McCormick bag. You just throw them in the oven and you cook them for like 30, 35 minutes. So we're gonna have that with baked potatoes and then tonight we're gonna have the burgers and the pasta side suddenly salad journey loves the ones with bacon and ranch um, so we'll have that and then with the chicken strips I just bought some fries guys I haven't been able to find steak fries like I had to buy some kind of checkers brand um, season fries I think we've actually bought that kind before I mean we're not crazy about it but it works so we're gonna have the uh, chicken tenders I'm just gonna fry it up make the homemade ranch do the french fries and then do fried pickles along with it so that will be dinner either Thursday Wednesday or Thursday and then Friday we'll be at the beach so we'll eat Friday and whoa, 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 whoa. hey guys so only one of my machines is on because this one's broke and it's the stupidest all right guys so it's much later now I don't even know where I was going or what I was saying or where I left off but so the machine is not working um, it has a z-axis error so if anybody has a Melco and you've ever dealt with a Z-axis error, it's a little bit different on the Amaya Big Red, which is this one right here because it is an older machine. So like the, um, the hole to turn the thing is tiny. Like you have to put your hand up inside of this little hole to try to turn this thing. Whereas on um, this one it's open and I think on the Bravo it's open. Anyway, what had happened is I'm stitching out Jojo, which is still down here. I haven't finished her. Um, I'm stitching her out, and it kept having a thread break, thread break, thread break, thread break. I'm cutting these out. Um, so the headbands I had to make. So um, I told Journey I would make her one. I, there's actually an extra one here, and I think there's a headband upstairs for it. So. But that's another problem too. I'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> it's just today's like. Uh, okay, so. Um, mm, 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 mm. So I turned the machine off, and then when I did that, because I was in the middle of stitching out something, um, when it started back up. The needle dropped down and gave me a z-axis error so I went ahead and turned the thing to get it back up well it wouldn't go back up wouldn't go back up wouldn't go back up finally I was like okay I remember what I had to do before with deleting some files in the C drive or the C folder or whatever um, Windows C and then you go into the Amaya and then you go and delete um, out of another file it's the jobs and then you delete the machine so I tried that it didn't work that's how I fixed it before when it was broken it had the same issue going on the thing that makes me so mad is like there's no reason for this to really be happening other than you know to stress me out you know there's that um, but there's no reason like uh, nothing got stuck in it it didn't have you no know, the only thing I did was turn it off so um, I tried and tried I can't get it and I kind of gave up for today it's like one of those things where I was wasting so much time doing that I wasn't focused on getting the work I had to get done done and I'm still not done with the orders that need to ship out tomorrow. Number one, I have to make a ribbon trim for a mini, which I'm going to do in the morning. Um, I already told my husband, I was like, um, if I don't get to this mini mouse ribbon trim tonight, which I don't think I will, 
will you take my packages in the morning? He's like, yeah, that's fine. So, um, I will make that. The only other thing I have to do is put bows on the shirt, which I'll do tonight, and make the hair bow, which I'll do tonight. So, tomorrow, once I get the ribbon trim done, that order is completed and ready to go out. And then I have to make an apron. Um, I had a custom order for a customer. She's ordered for me several times before. Um, and I have one of them done. The other one is a purple one. And I don't have a purple apron. So this is it. I think it turned out super cute. Um, she wanted a letter and a paint palette. And so I'm going to take a picture of this. I already have one already listed in my shop with the number like for a birthday. Like if someone was having a paint birthday party or whatever. Um, but I used the this fabric from um, the fabric store in North Carolina. Because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it yet. But this customer, she was like, you can use whatever you want for, you know, the letter. The um, only thing she wanted was she wanted the name in one color because on the original one, the name is in, it's Journeys, it's hanging over there, but the name is in different colors. So um, this one is for Mallory and then she has one for Melanie. The other one is for Melanie. So I'll use the, um, I'm going to do everything exactly the same, but it's on a purple apron. So... What I'm going to do on hers is I'm going to keep the letter with the hot pink outline and everything. And over here where the paintbrush is purple, I'm going to do hers in hot pink. And then I'll do her name in hot pink so it shows up. And then um, I might change the color of this uh, purple right here. I might even... I'm trying to think of what color because obviously purple and purple don't show up but I might do it in I might change it to a green or a yellow to match you know the colors here but anyway that's that I think it's super cute I love the little the paint fabric so this one needs the purple one to go with it see that's the order that has to go up tomorrow so as soon as those aprons arrive, and I bet you anything, I'll probably be late. That's my lot. I'm like, why is this happening? If, do you guys remember last time we were going to the beach in April? And that's when I first had my issue with my embroidery machine. <laughs> Same one. <laughs> yeah. Both of them went down. And I had to try to get orders done so we could go to the beach yeah 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 and here yesterday everything was running so smooth yeah I had both machines going I was feeling all like wow you know this is great this honestly I was like this must be what Angela feels like when she has all her machines going uh, but anyway I have to heat press this I still have to finish cutting these guys out um, I went ahead and made several just well not several I made one extra I should say um, usually when I do these I do it on one I have them set up where it's will stitch out on one um, sheet but since I didn't have an extra hoop I only had my 725 hoop that I just did one at a time I just set it up and came in here and did stuff and but it did okay. It did have a few, like, I guess with any machines, like, you know, you go through. I think the theme of tonight was, like, thread breaks. Because everything was breaking threads. Is there a full moon? But, so. I've been making these little uh, bat wings for probably, oh, this is probably my third or fourth year but I will show you and Journey is obsessed with Vampirina so I was like 
Mommy will let you have one. These are pretty durable, these headbands. Oh, so let's get on to another issue is I buy my headbands in bulk in um, last year for um, Halloween. I ordered a pack of 50 and that's how I ordered them. And it usually lasts me quite a bit. Um, I think I added up because I went back to look and I sold a total of 15 of them last year um, you know I don't sell them for much so it's not like I'm actually making a lot of money because I was actually thinking like is it really worth it because of you know these this um, this belt right here is a dollar 19 now they actually went up on price so it used to be 99 cents and now it's a dollar 19 a 20 cent increase um, you can get it when it's on sale for buy one get one but um, so you got to figure in the cost of that and the other felt piece you use the stabilizer the thread and the time it takes and then the cost of the headband you put it on. And if I charge like $10, and it takes me, I think, I don't remember, I think it's like 15 minutes to stitch it out. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I think there's other, I think there's better money makers um, out there than doing this. I think this is just, it was just an idea I had one day and so I looked up for some um, files and I saw this one and I was like yeah oh yeah because I thought it would be cool anyway where was I going oh <laughs> got sidetracked um, so I buy them 50 at a time and so when I went upstairs, the entire drawer I kept them in was didn't have any black. It had some pink because um, I had ordered some pink from Glitterbug Fairy, and so it had pink in the drawer, and I think there was like two purple, and not a single black headband, and I was freaking the freak out because. Number one, I already printed off my shipping labels for these. And number two, if I had to order them, it's going to take a couple days for them to come in. And I'm just like, why is this happening? Why, 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 why? Like, why did my machine break? Why am I, like, not getting any orders done? Why? Why is the universe working against me? But then my husband's like, well, let me go look over here, see if there was one. He found one in our drawer in the bathroom. And I'm like, I'm not going to send this to someone. Why? He's like, you know it came out of your stuff. And I was like, yeah, but I don't know whose head it's been on. <laughs> and then Starly just happened to dig around in the drawer and she found two of them buried in the bottom. But it still don't count for, I mean, I've got to at least have 20. I mean, at least 20. If I bought 50 and I sold 15, I got to have at least 20. You know what I'm saying? And that's being generous. Because sometimes you do get them and they are a little bit warped and stuff. And usually the ones that are like misshapen and stuff, I usually just toss them. Anyway, I'm going to 
going to package orders. I only got a few to package, like I said. Um, hopefully my Amazon order comes in fairly e soon because um, I gotta get these out. I'm not soon, but early. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so, am I waiting for something else? I did a tool order. I don't know when that's supposed to be in. My glitter bug fairy came in today. I'm trying to think of what else I've ordered. Oh, my thread and my mighty hoop. I don't know when that's supposed to. Hopefully they shipped it today. Maybe it will come in on Monday. Anyway, I made two extra. Like I said, I told Journey she can have them. So. <laughs> She, um, I have to find her some vampire teeth because she takes two straws and puts them in her mouth. And I'm just afraid she's going to fall with them. So we took them away from her and she was upset because she said she was a vampire. But I think she'll have fun with this happy vampire. Anyway, I'm going to finish packaging these up and hopefully tomorrow will go better. And I will be able to vlog more. But right now it's like crunch time. And we've got after tonight we'll have two more sleeps. Then it's vacation time. I say vacation. It's not like a real vacation. We're just going for the weekend, but we'll be there Friday night and Saturday night. We'll come home on Sunday. Hoping I can see Jessica while we're there. Um, maybe we'll go get us some ice cream with her. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.